question and answer time. Questions but we may not have answers, that's okay. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, how do we relieve some of the burdens of our guide? It feels so painful to feel the weight of what our shaykhs are carrying. Inshallah, forgive me if it's an incorrect line of question. No problem, no, it's a sincere person's concern. The, the way to relieve is to pray. That's, that's all the, the teaching that the shaykhs are giving, they teach a greater portion of this so they can be relieved from difficulties, that pray for them. That they're not allowed to pray for themselves, they don't sit using their connection, oh Ya Rabbi I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, give me the lottery numbers. It doesn't work that way. The, their training is that, Ya Rabbi grant me shifa and healing, Ya Rabbi grant me to be protected. But their looking is that, why the people who love you are not praying for you? So we said that everything is like a contract and like a court of law. That you're praying for this person and they don't really believe in you. So we'll take it up and we'll get to that. But they know when somebody sincerely believes in you, loves you, respects you and when you pray for them, they're expecting that you should be praying for them. This person really relying upon you interceding or praying for them. So it means everything is just in Allah's court. So Allah just said, they believe in you, we know they believe in you, you should be praying because they're in a difficulty or hardship or praying for an opening. So everything is a system that works. But when they're not believing in you and you're just praying for them, Allah inspired Prophet and all his awliyaullah inspired, they don't believe in you. So we'll put that aside for now. So everything is that they're teaching is that show you care. Because you want something, because everyone watching is going to want something in their life. Everyone should be wanting everything. They should be wanting Divinely Presence, they should be wanting the love of Prophet and then all of their familiar and family issues that they have to have resolved. So then if you, if you have this want, well then you make your comments, make your support, put your finger and share. We see the people whom are sharing, the, these family from Florida, these people from Chicago, these people from LA, we see all these people on every platform. 20 coming in from… As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs. Our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. From uh, Facebook, uh, 10 uh, posts coming in from here, 4 food uh, programs here, everybody. So they see it, we see it. If I see it, they see it through my eyes and they know best whom is making that intention. So immediately Allah knows this becomes what we describe was uh, this love and this way is a fusion. Fission is that you hit it and take a energy but you leave a lot of waste. The fusion is that you show your love, the shaykh shows their love, a bond is being made and these energies are very powerful. Look at a few good people, how much they can change things, how much they can go out and try to do something because they feel the love, they feel the purpose. Then you're praying for the shaykh, you're praying for their protection, you're praying for their safeguards. You support everything, all of that whole system is then building that which Allah wants. That was in the seerah of Prophet How did Prophet test them? We gave that in Badr. Didn't Prophet teach them and taught them and tested them? We're going to go take the money that they took from us in Medina. 
who wants to come? Okay, we're coming with you. They would come with Prophet for anything. But this was the example. As soon as they went out to do that, then Prophet described, well, it's kind of changed that the caravan of the money went that way. Now there's 10,000 coming heavily armed soldiers against us. If you want, you can leave. And they said, Look, we're going to leave. We're going to go to the, our death at your feet. And that was their symbol. And that's Ida Ja' Nasrullahi wal Fat. When Allah was so happy with the level of commitment that a few strong men that would never leave the side of Sayyidina Muhammad what Allah sent two, three thousand angels to come to support. Because He's not going to let them to be destroyed, but wanted to see that, are you going to be with Sayyidina Muhammad not through the good but through the bad. If so, my angels are coming. They said 3,000 angels with swords. As soon as they came down, all these heads were coming off of the enemies of Allah And the Prophet was so ecstatic and giving takbir for all the angels that were coming down to destroy these enemies and to save his holy companions. They're not to be obliterated for the sake of this love. So it means throughout our history, we have to show our love, we have to show our commitment, we have to show that we participate. That's why the tariqah is real, put your faith in action. And mashaAllah so many people are and so many people are, are trying in every possible way to, to put their faith in action. So alhamdulillah, if you can do that, that's fantastic, inshaAllah. Alaykum Sayyidi. Wa This is from a question from TikTok uh, from a new person. Uh, new people on TikTok? <laughs> Salaam Alaykum. <laughs> what do you Share do, the feed. What do you do if you keep getting obsessive thoughts? <clears throat> yeah, thank you for coming in from TikTok that all our people take our feeds and make a TikTok page and make a channel, take our feed and our clips and share them, share them, share them. Once you come in to the association, on our main page there should be a link to our digital business card. That link has all our websites that come into our YouTube, come into nurmuhammad.com. As soon as you come into this system that's been created, we have articles for all of these understandings. And if it's a link that you can't find, then help me at nurmuhammad.com that you email us and then again our people will begin to reply and give you the links and the appropriate location because all these teachings have all been done. That which we suffer from excessive anything, anger anything, desires of anything, it's because of the deficiency in our positive energy. That was the talk tonight, that's why I talked before you, you, you asked the question, the answer already had come. It's the lack of positive energy that makes us to suffer with our sins. Because of the negativity it creates sins, it creates desires, it creates un, unsatiable appetites. It creates the burden of people putting negativity, then everybody becoming negative. So this is a continuous pattern. So that's the teaching is that make your salawats, make your… keep yourself in wudu, keep yourself with the taweez for protection, do all the recitations, keep the wudu, make the salah and all the things that Allah has asked but this is a battle of energy. Meditate, then come to the site because there's not very few, not many people teaching tafakkur which is meditation. Come and learn how to meditate when you connect your heart, visualize the shaykh is in front of you and that you're asking Allah dress my heart because I need my shaykh in front of me so that Satan doesn't appear, that a dajjal and a jinn doesn't appear. I'm asking for my shaykh, I see his face, I know what he looks like. I'm asking for his madad and support, Ya Rabbi that you promised that keep the company of Salihin. I'm asking for my shaykh to be present so that I close my eyes and connect my heart that I'm safe. Without that you don't know who's coming now into your room, you didn't… you weren't specific. 
hey Siri, take me for a sandwich. Where is that going to go? You don't know which neighborhood is going now but it's very specific. No, no, take me to Rumi Rose Garden. Knows exactly where that address is. Same with the madad. If you close your eyes and meditate and you don't know what you're doing and who's sitting next to you as soon as you close your eyes, then that's why Allah wa jalla, wa kunu ma sadiqeen, yataqullah have a taqwa, wa kunu ma sadiqeen. Why? To keep the company of sadiq because they're truthful servants. So, Ya Rabbi, that my shaykh inshaAllah is, is truthful servant, I wish to keep his company and I feel that presence in front of me, that's my safety. Then I begin madad, I begin to make my connection, I begin my breathing and my practices. The immense amount of energies that we bring again pulls our charge to be positive. The more positive our charge, the more we can push away negativity. Qul ja'al haq that Allah gave in Qur'an that say that when the truth comes falsehood perishes. And that falsehood by its nature is uh, decimated, zahukan will be destroyed. So the falsehood of negativity will be destroyed when we bring Allah's truth around us which are the lights of the shaykhs, the lights of the muhibeen and the lovers of the Divine Reality and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah. Another question from TikTok. TikTok. New person. Uh, can you please tell us how we can meditate without thinking of other things? Yeah, that, that, that is a training. That's why meditation is not easy. The meditation is how to clear the mind. And the, the practices and the system we have again, help me at nurmuhammad.com is that you have to have a system in which you listen to something. So we listen to salawats, we put nasheeds and naat or things that you find very comforting, Holy Qur'an most important. And you sit and breathe, learn the process of the meditation we just described. But you have to play something for the entertainment of the ears. We never meditate in silence because the one who meditates in silence the devil comes to whisper that if he sees a, a ear that's unattended, he's going to come like a microphone whispering. And that's why we don't listen to the complaints of people. Somebody emailed, oh this person wants to, to, to sit and talk for a couple hours and complain to you about their problems in life. We don't do that, we don't care for that. Why would you want to give the ear to shaitan? Because you're complaining, you're complaining against who? Against Allah. What he wrote for you, what your life is, you don't need to complain about anything. You don't need to find an ear to talk to it. You need to find patience, stay silent. The only one who can relieve your difficulty is Allah if he sees good character. But if somebody gets used to that process where well they just keep looking for an ear to vomit in and it's all from shaitan and they keep losing their darajat, the darajat because it's not of a manly character. That Allah is looking for rijal and these rijal they don't speak to anyone, they don't complain to anyone. They're very silent people, very quiet people. Why? Because nobody can help them but Allah But everybody can harm them. So everybody can harm them. You talk too much to this one, you're going to be harmed. You talk to this one, you're going to be harmed. So if Allah is the only cure then no need to talk to people. So they stay silent, they keep to themselves, they do their meditation, their contemplations, they build their energy, they do their zikr like the beginning of the whole talk. Spend time in nature and, and that which is natural, go into the water to be absolved from all these negative forces and negative energies, make a lot of zikr. So this is, these are the practices that, that the shaykhs have given to us, all of it in hadith and all of it in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad who taught wudu? His Prophet means all of these are from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad it's just people don't know. So what was the great energy grounding? It was a siwak. 
And they say, oh, shaykh, no, this is for toothbrush, that we don't need this anymore, we just brush our teeth with crest. No, this was nifaqi fi qalbi wa shirk khafi. The dua for the siwak was that, Lord, prevent my heart from nifaq and hypocrisy and the hidden, hidden association with you, that I, I, I think of something else other than you to resolve my life. The hidden shirk in which in your heart you think somebody else going to fix something other than Allah So it means the siwak's dua was to open the heart. So all of this was given by Prophet and they say, oh, can you prove please where Sayyidina Muhammad said such a thing? Well, you have to sit here, 25 years you have to sit here with me and, and learn. Or take a video on energy and sunnah that we have on our playlist and watch the video. There's at least four videos of the realities of the sunnah. So what was the, what was the asa? It wasn't a fashion statement, it was a three ground prong, right? Your two legs are the energy and this is your grounding. So Prophet was teaching them about the three points. Before they had two and everybody would get electrocuted until they realized you have to have a grounding and they made a wire that goes all the way to outside your house into the dirt. That's why your sockets are three, right? There's not a two socket, there's no grounding line. So the advanced electrical made the third line as a grounding wire that goes to a, a line that grounds into the dirt of the house. So any electrical surge would be pushed on and grounded into the dirt. But Prophet was teaching them electronics when they say, where was this? It was in Asa. Otherwise why, you, why would there be an Asa? Because there are two legs and the energy that you're carrying, you have to hold the Asa with your shahada finger down. And what you're doing is all the energy that coming from the ground is electromagnetic force and the clash would be in the belly. And all the heavenly emanation that comes to dress the heart and the soul is coming clashing in the belly. Without the asa you're going to have a lot of belly sickness, back sickness because the energy is going to come and either make a difficulty in the front or make an energy difficulty in the back which is the back pain. Say 90% of this world suffers from back pain and they have entire clinics for pain because of back pain. So then what Prophet gave as a medicine was your asa, is your grounding. So in an ever negative world, walk a little bit like you're old and keep an asa to be humble. And this grounds all this negative energy. So all of this is from Prophet and a ring. You have a ring because it's a ring of power. When Allah wanted to give His servant power, He gave a ring to Sayyidina Sulaiman Why He didn't just say, okay, I put it in your heart, now move the jinn, the angels and the ifrit and keep them all under your command. Because Allah wanted to show, you're weak and you need me and as a creation you're in need. So here's a ring as a token of my appreciation. At any time I won't, I'm going to take that ring off your finger. But if you would have given it to the heart then there was no way to take that off because that would have been a given gift. This was just a token of this power. So means Allah this Prophet sunnah is to wear a ring. That if Allah want to energize it, at least you're in the sunnah of Prophet Allah sends a barakah and a blessing upon that ring. And by means of that ring many things have been opened for their servants and by means of that ring many things have been taken away because of that. So when they say God works in mysterious ways, we can't imagine how Allah is granting and taking away difficulties inshaAllah. So one last say that was going to be our next question. There you so go. Someone had asked specifically about the siwa. <laughs> siwa yeah. But it's all the energy because the funniest question is they're coming to us is, where is this? It's everywhere but they have eyes and they don't see. And it's no fault, it's not an insult, it's because you didn't train. If you don't sit and meditate, do you think the devil will let you to hear and to see these things? 
No, he's like a cloud. Did you know that when any point on this earth, no matter how cloudy it is, how rainy it is, if you go a little higher, what happens? It's sunshine. So the devil only can block for so such a limit. But if you don't meditate, you don't contemplate, you don't keep the hand of powerful shaykhs and guidance and tariqahs, you're in a continuous storm. And as a result, they're not letting anything through, you're not going to see anything, hear anything. You're going to read the Furqan, not Qur'an. You're going to read a book of only right and wrong. The Qur'an only opens with the Arabic Messenger, means with the light of Prophet then the Qur'an has a nur and a light that enters into the heart of the servant. So means this process is all there, the shaykhs are talking about it, the same book they talk about, the same hadith they talk about, but people don't see that reality. InshaAllah Allah opens for them. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Can we freeze our positive energy for a long time? Can any energy be frozen? Cryogenics, if they fast freeze you and put you in a state of death, they're trying to do that now but I don't think it's possible. And energy is a flowing state. So the, the whole system again of the sunnah, why do men have to cover their head? Because we gave a talk, you're a pyramid. So anyone who wants to know of a, a power plant, you study the pyramid. The pyramid was designed as a power plant. So the ancient pharaohs, that was their power plant. And Sayyidina Musa had the secret of electricity. You have to wear your sunnah and you're insulated. All of this is an energy insulation. So the amount of energy I bring into my system is one factor. The amount of energy I lose is another factor. So imagine you make a hundred dollars a day but you can't control your expenses. You make good money but you have absolutely no mind whatsoever on your expenses. And you go back, you look at your accounting as I actually spent a hundred and fifty dollars that day and I made a hundred. Well what happens? In a matter of a month you're bankrupt. So people are spiritually like that. They're not putting enough deposits every day but they're spending a lot. Everything they do they spend, they spend, they spend all their energy until they call themselves, I'm spent. Means I have no more energy within myself, I'm bankrupt myself, I'm empty of everything. If they go too long like that they want to harm themselves. They become negative, choose negative things, choose negative food, negative ideas, negative, negative, negative. Because they emptied their account. You wouldn't do it in your home finance, why do you do it to your body and your soul? So it means all of this spirituality and the spiritual path is very real. If we live it, follow the examples and the teachings, then what happens? You deposit, deposit, deposit and they say, congratulations at the end of the month you saved more than what you spent. Now you can bank that energy. So you wear a hat all the time, as much as you can, why? So the energy is not flowing. You visualize crows sitting on your head and picking at your head pulling your energy because there's a flow of energy flowing from that human. When the energy is flowing from them, they did some zikr, some good practices, they're glowing. If it's going to escape from their head, it's going to escape from their body and the parts of their body that people look at, as a result their insulation is their sunnah. And that's why Islamically women have to cover their belly, it's the haramain that no haram on this area. As a result it has a life force and a child will come. Those other communities they open. Why? So that all the negative energies will attack to them. But everything that Prophet brought was all advanced energy training but didn't need to teach it that way. But as we draw to the end of this existence and this world, we have to talk in a unified field for other people to understand because many will come in mass and they have no Islamic background. 
And their attraction will be the knowledges and the energies and light teachings inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.